Congratulations, you have made it to the last pace, 1096 in the uh, level eight math course. We're gonna look uh, briefly here at math pace 1096 and I wanna just give you a real quick overview. If you look at the uh, goals on the first page, it kind of lists some of the topics that are gonna be covered. This is actually kind of like a um, personal finance course, an overview of some important topics that, um, actually I think it's kind of cool that it covers it in the paces. A lot of adults don't understand these types of things. And, uh, but it is a good application of some of the math that you have been learning, like about percents and how to use a calculator to do multiplying and subtracting and just seeing where all these numbers come from. So it's first gonna talk about mortgages and uh, mortgage would be like if you're buying a house and uh, so you have to borrow money from the bank and then every month you make a payment to the bank. And uh, they calculate it in such a way that the bank <coughs> gets the most interest in the first payment. And then the second month they still get a lot of interest and a very little bit of the money goes to what's called the principal, the amount that you actually borrowed. But as you keep going through the loan, then more and more of it goes to principal and less and less to interest. So there's a lot of calculations in there. I'm gonna do a video about pages seven and eight in a little bit. And uh, then there's a section just about calculating taxes, sales taxes. Um, property tax, that one's a little bit detailed. There are different types of taxes. There's state tax and local tax and county tax. And at least here in the United States, they have all of these different taxes. And then the rate is um, like so many cents per thousand dollars of the value of your property. And uh, so what happens is every, I don't know, 10 years or so, an assessor comes around and looks at the property and says, I think your property is valued at, let's say, you know, $200,000. And then they take the tax rate for that county or for that township or city and multiply that times the value of the property. And then every year, the homeowner has to pay those taxes to the, uh, to the township or the county or whatever the government is. So anyways, it explains how to calculate that. Multiple steps, um, I just had a student go through this pace and he said even though it looked hard, it wasn't as hard as he thought, you just follow the example and it shows all the steps to know, you know what to multiply, what to divide, you know, where you subtract, all that kind of a thing. And then the last section is an introduction to insurance. So it talks about health insurance and life insurance and housing insurance and automobile insurance and a lot of terminology. So actually the last section is more knowledge and uh, not so much calculating, but introducing you to some important terminology. So hopefully uh, just with that introduction, it'll encourage you that this pace is probably not as hard as a lot of the other paces that you have done. And actually it's a little more like real life. And uh, you're gonna be introduced to some things that you're not gonna use right away, but maybe in another five, definitely 10 years, uh, by the time you're driving and having to pay for insurance, you're gonna need to know some of the things about automobile insurance. <coughs> Some of these topics might be really good to sit down with uh, dad, maybe mom, and kind of go over and get their input. And maybe they can even show you what, uh, what they're paying currently with some of their uh, taxes and insurance and mortgage payments and that kind of thing. So you just see some real life numbers compared to the numbers that they have here in the pace. All right, I'm gonna stop the video right now. There's just an introduction to this and just an encouragement that, hey, you're almost done. And uh, this is not a tough pace. You can do this. Study the examples. Um, do a few problems in each new section and check the score key to make sure you're on the right track before you just keep going, 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 all right? And you don't wanna do a whole bunch of pages and then find out that you were missing one step and have to go back and redo them all. And then uh, shortly here, I'm gonna do a video, particularly for pages seven and eight, because my understanding is there are some tricky things that need to be clarified on that page, all right?